Alright, welcome back to this third and final video in the second lesson of Math Placement Reviews. And this one we're going to talk about percents. So, the reason why percents are in this video is because percents are just a special case of ratios. related to 100. So this is what the relationship is. Part over whole equals percent over 100. So that's the definition of what, well, that's just the relationship that we're going to use. For most questions, the part is around the word is. And the whole is around the word of. So let's say we gave you this problem. What percent Sorry, I'm abbreviating, but of 92 is 14. So the first thing we got to do is we have to go back to this. So what percent, what is going to go where the percent sign is, 100 always goes below it. Of 92, that means 92 is my whole, is 14. 14 is going to be there. Now it's cross multiplying just like before. I get 14,000, sorry, 1,400 equals 92x. Divide each side by 92. And I get 1,400 divided by 92. 15.22. And that's a great deal of the percent questions that you could get asked. But there are some special cases for percents that I wanted to go over. Alright, so keep, keep this in mind as we go about. So let's talk about discounts. Let's say a shirt normally sells for $20. It is marked down by 20%. What is the new price? There are a couple ways you could go, uh, go about a problem like this. The first is to find, well, I'll call the dollars discounted. and subtract from the original. That's, ch that's choice one. Choice two is the one I'm going to show you and the one I prefer, and that is just going, and that is 
nine percent of original. What does that mean? And by the way, these are my terms for these tech these steps. It's not necessarily something from a textbook. But basically, I what I mean for a fine percent of the original. If it's marked down 20%, that means it's 80% of the original. Here's how to visualize that. Let's say I had a 100 foot piece of wood here. So from here to here, it's 100 feet. I chopped off 20. I have 80 feet left. That's how I always visualize it. I start off with 100 of something. The percent tells me how many, how much I'm knocking off. Whatever's left is what's left. So now I can use this 80% to do just what I did before. 80 over 100 equals x over 20. So if I cross multiply, I have 1600 equals 100x. Divide each side by 100. As I pull this up, 16 equals x. So that means it's going to sell for $16. If I did it this way, I still would get 16. So I'm going to just draw a little bit of a barrier here. But let me show you how many steps that takes. First I'm going to do 20 over 100 equals x over 20. I'm going to cross multiply. I get 100x. And I get 400. Divide each side by 100. And 4 equals x. But that 4 doesn't tell me the price. It tells me how, for, how many dollars the price is knocked down. So I have to do 20 minus 4 which equals 16. I get the same answer either way. Here there's an extra step involved. It doesn't matter which way you do it, as long as you can see how to do either one. If this first way makes more sense to you, then do that. If this second way makes more sense to you, then do that. All right, we got two other topics. And since we did discounts, we got to do sales tax. So let's say we have that shirt for 20. Let's say we have that shirt for $16. is sold in New York State where sales tax is much does it cost? To buy the shirt.
So, again, we've got the two choices. I could do the first way that I did before. I could do 8 over 100 equals x over 16. I'm going to cross multiply. I'll get 8 times 16, which I believe is 128. Just make sure. 8 times 16 is 128 equals 100x. Divide by 100. And I get 1.28 equals x. So that tells me what the sales tax is. I just have to add that back to the original. And I'll get $17.28. The other way of doing it is taking my original $16 and adding 0.08 times 16, and that'll still give me 17.28, which is the same thing as taking 1.08 times my 16, and that gives me 17.28. So, sorry I kind of rushed through the explanation of that one. Here are the choices. You can either do 2 original, or you do one point tax, so in New York State it's 1.08 times original, and that will give you your sale price. You know, I said I was going to do three special cases of percents. I think I'm going to just limit it to these two. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you. That will wrap up the second lesson of Math Placement Review, and I'll see you later.